<sighs> that rumble. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Your Grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. What now? You're far fewer than I presume. Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop chop! Before I reach for my whip! One bullet. Give me a time. <laughs> Abolista, you're the wagon. Use the wagon now. <sighs> We've come through, Reynard. I thank you. The walls of the temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's nought we can do here. We ride on. A peasant cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods. Who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, my lady, replied the cartman. T'were a beast. Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Clerton was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us. Drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will, replied the Queen. Though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. The Queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, Your Grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace... We've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formulae. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. Neil and pay homage to the gods. You shall be rewarded. Melitale watches over us all. Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. There is ever time for prayer. Even as war rages all around, pleased to see ye yearn for the holy work. Melitale...
Traveling the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Meave turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened, her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me! Stained glass shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down ripped from quilts wafted through the air. The priestesses gathered in the yard were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Sparla fell upon us, sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, holy books. My lady, I implore you come to our aid, recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever. Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide, or to lie in ambush. It's all come clear now. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. The Good Mother warned us. The Good Mother warned us. Listening humility coming now. Abolist at your command. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Your Majesty, your, your Majesty, your return. Our prayers have been answered.
The bandits had pitched camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar, the brigands had not posted sentries. Another round! To the sisters! <laughs> Neve's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. Yet only the queen could order the assault. High time we put these strays on a leash, spat the queen, spurring her horse. Two arms! Follow me! Tankards clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. The brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. You are that pouch. You can try to win them all, but you won't. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. In silver. Regroup! My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. See if he's had any coin in his pockets. Or his own. Give me it. Think about slings. They hide well. Again and again. You might have got away had you not been falling so damn much. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. We must trust each other. Aye. Ever have a storm knock out one of your teeth? The Queen's company defeated the bandits and recovered the loot. Silver chalices, reliquaries lined with mother of pearl, gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be grateful to have their treasures returned, Your Grace. They would pray ardently for your victory. Reynard opined. Yet, you could also keep the silver, expend it on the war effort. And who's to say which, prayer or coin, would be more useful? Hard times the realm now endures, the queen said, 
after a pause. Yet this can't justify a lapse in principles. No. We must defend them all the more. Meave ordered everything returned to the priestesses. All of it, down to the last gulden. Moved by the Queen's gesture, some of the novitiates joined Meave's ranks, aiming to bring succor to any Lyrian wounded in battle. Queen and company rode off with no gold to show for their toil, but most certainly richer in spirit. Sure you can bind a rabid dog, tie his four legs together, but you'll not... You've bested us, I. You've bested us, I. Give me a time. Left, right, left, right. Abolist to your command. Ah, 
listen to me, old lady. This harvest will be reaping black clad hands. If you insist. It's willing and how, but these damn brutes are killing me. We must trust each other. Off to Wetterton, are ye? Bonnie turn that. Just the folk can be on shite. Off to Wetterton. Off to Wetterton. 